Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. Oklahoma continuing to dominate the 2023 recruiting trail with another commitment, Lewis Carter out of Tampa Bay, Florida. He's a top 200 player nationally, top 15 player as a linebacker. Dill, if you're a linebacker, you're either going to Georgia, we just talked about Troy Ballas, or you want to go play for Brent Venables. He's doing a great job earlier. You got to want to play for Venables if you want to play high-level linebacking. I mean, and it's crazy because when you think back to what he had at Clemson, it was mostly guys who were not really pro-level players, but all found their way into, like, pro situations, at least making camps, getting drafted late, all that. But not guys who you kind of – not guys who stuck around in the pros and not guys who realistically probably had the talent. So now as OU starts building a – Group of got a group of linebackers who play, who at least you think have the talent to be pros and have the athleticism required. You got to think you're going to have some just incredible linebacking play at Oklahoma. And and here's another thing that we talked about on the Georgia video. If you're a young linebacker, again, I love to do the hypotheticals, and I'm just farthest from a good young linebacker as you could be. If you are a good young linebacker, one of the more important things is having a good defensive line group in front. of you. You saw Georgia linebackers last year feast as the Georgia defensive line was so good that they were just freed up. No offensive lineman working to them. Brent Venables always has a good defensive line. That's just what he's done a great job at Clemson. And you come at play linebacker Oklahoma, you're probably going to be playing behind a great defensive line, and it's going to make your job a And you're going to play hyper-aggressive football. Yes. Like, and that's what Venables wants, that's what he coaches to do, so – yeah, like you're not, you're going to be playing in a position where you should be able to put stats up and, and do a lot of good things. So, on other news, that moves Oklahoma up into a top 10 class. And this is going to be a really, really big month for the Sooners. They've already picked up a couple of really big time commitments in the month of July. They have a couple other guys who are they're in top threes for. I expect a few more guys to fall, but. It was mostly offensive heavy, which was kind of surprising considering Brent Venable's background being such a defensive-minded guy. Jackson Arnold, Jaquez Petaway, Caden Green, their top three prospects all on the offensive side of the ball. Now the defense starts coming in. Adopju Abduare had a great kind, great uh, practice, you'd say, in the Under Armour All-American game. You got Lewis Carter. You got Samuel Amashigo. The defense is coming. You knew it was going to come. You knew he was going to recruit the defense side of the ball, and he's kind of rounding out a really good recruiting class here. You got to think Oklahoma is going to bring in a good class. You know they can put the money out. They have a, a rabid, rabid fan base that is very engaged. So you got to think – and Venables could recruit at Clemson. Not that Clemson was a hard place necessarily to recruit for, but a guy who helped build that program and, and build it into the recruiting power – so, yeah, I don't have, like, a ton of worry about what Venables can do. At, in Oklahoma, that's probably an easier place to recruit than Clemson, all, all else equal. Yeah, the, the fans at Oklahoma are just uh, – you watched that spring game and how excited they were for Brent Venables. It was, it was electric. And another thing is he, especially as a younger – like, he's a, a very energetic coach. And the high school kids are going to want to go play football for a guy like Brent Venables. I kind of said the same thing about Kirby Smart. Those guys love ball, and that's going to rub off on the players. Like The elite guys are going to want to go play for a coach that's that animated and shows that's how important football is to him. And Brent Venables lives, eats, and breathes football. The players want to go play for that, and it's just really hard to find a better marriage between Oklahoma Sooners fans and the program and Brent Venables. Wanted to keep this guy short for you guys. Appreciate you guys checking us out again. If you guys do like the content, consider subscribing to the channel. We love talking ball with you guys in the comment section. Hope you all have a good weekend. We'll talk to you all later. Peace. Boomer Sooner.